Hey, welcome back to our ninth video. Today, we'll learn some new tools in Grasshopper to create great results. Let's get started. Curve Primitive Arc Radius 1. Double click on the canvas to create a number slider. 15.0 Connect to the radius. Twenty point zero angle zero to pi maths util pi connect to the angle pi is equal to one hundred eighty degrees zero less than two point zero zero. This will allow us to create a complete circle. Connect to the factor. One point zero zero. We created a one hundred eighty degree arc. Now let's create another arc with a smaller radius. Control plus C, Control plus V. Double click the slider. 12.0. Let's learn how to scale our larger arc only in the y direction. Transform. Scale non uniform. Connect the arc to the geometry. To stretch our arc, we will connect a value slightly greater than 1 to the scale Y input. Copy. Connect to the scale Y. One point sixty. We can now hide the previous arc. Control plus Q. Now, we will learn how to divide our curves into equal segments. Curve Divide Curve Connect the geometry to the curve. Count, 10 Copy Let's remove the decimal point by setting the slider to an integer value. Digits. Zero. Click OK. Connect to the count. Thirty five. Let's continue by dividing the second curve as well. Copy. Connect the arc to the count. Now, let's create new arcs using the points we obtained by dividing the curves. Arc SED Connect the points to the start. Connect the points to the end. To form the arcs, we need to connect a vector to the direction input. Vector Vector Unit Z. Connect to the direction. Looks good. Let's hide the previously created objects to display only the arcs. Hold Shift to select multiple components. Disable Preview. Count, 50. Now, let's create a surface using these arcs. Surface. Loft. Connect the arc to the curves.
Disable preview. Let's add thickness to the surface we created using twisted boxes. Transform. Surface box. Connect the loft to the surface. We will use a domain to divide the surface into U and V parameters. Maths. Domain. Divide domain squared. Connect the loft to the domain. Connect the segments to the domain. We successfully divided the surface, but to view the boxes as solid objects, we will use a BREP container. Params BREP Connect the twisted box to the BREP container. Disable preview Disable preview Let's adjust how many segments we will create. 12 Copy Fifty. Ten. We can adjust the thickness of the twisted boxes by connecting a slider to the height input. Zero less than one point zero zero. Connect to the height. We need a negative value to give thickness inward. Maths. Operators. Negative. Connect the slider to the value. Minus 0 0.75. Connect the result to the height. 0 0.40 Let's use custom preview for visualization. Display Custom preview Connect the BREP to the geometry. Let's change the color using the color swatch. Params Input Color swatch Connect to the material. Color palette. Change the color. Change the hue value. Finally, let's bake our grasshopper project into Rhino. Right click on the BREP container. Bake. Group, yes, please. Click OK. Click the mouse wheel. Disable preview. Perspective. Monochrome. Thanks for watching, see you in the next tutorial.